Who'd be a better fit if given a choice for the Cavs? D-Wade or Melo? I can't believe I'm saying this. I, I really can't. Carmelo. And, and, and I don't mean that in any way as a knock on LeBron, on Dwayne Wade, but I just think Melo would be more hungry. He doesn't have a title. He, his back would be against the wall. If he can't get one with LeBron, we're really, we're really going to put a clown suit on him. And so I just think Melo going to Cleveland with all that to prove would be super motivated, would play both ends of the court as best as he could, uh, would come in in terrific shape, and would just be all in on winning the title. Dwayne Wade's got his titles. He's got three of them. Dwayne Wade's stature, legacy is set for life. He is Dwayne Wade. Melo still got something to prove. I'm not sure you're incorrect. I think you're probably right. But, man, I like the intangibles with D-Wade. D-Wade has given me 15 years of playing really good in big games. He really has. And I'm telling you, there were times when he was beat up when LeBron was in Miami, and he would play against Indiana or somebody, and I was like, he's just great. Now, he may not be perfect for but today's you know, Melo, you think, 6'9", but Melo doesn't shoot threes particularly well. But he shoots them a lot better than Wade. I Wade know. doesn't yeah. shoot them I well just think, I, I think you're probably right. But, man, D. Wade's been in a... You know, let's face it. Cavs get into the finals. Right. It's about the finals. D. Wade in the finals has a history of over-delivering. He yeah. does. I'd rather see... LeBron come to New York. I don't want to see Melo go to LeBron. <laughs> I'm from New York, and I want to see LeBron come to us. We don't have to go to you. Melo, stay in New York. If Melo, you, you Melo stay. Not happening. You just better worry about keeping, keeping Chris Who would be a better singing. fit in Cleveland with LeBron, Wade or Melo? Melo. I say Melo because you're outside shooting, and you need somebody to pass to. And, and Melo, at this point, he's not moving as well as he used to. No. And he just needs to spot up, and he'll be a knockdown. It's, it's, it's basically knockdown. Melo, a poor man's Paul George. Well, well, he doesn't, certainly man. doesn't play defense like George. Man, doesn't, George. Doesn't move like George. <laughs> no, he doesn't move, but he can the shoot. The good thing, here's the thing. They can get both. It's not one or the other. They could get both. If, if they're both, both of them out. get bought out, they both could easily go to Cleveland. See, I'd I rather see both of them go to New York. I'd rather see Wade <laughs> and Braun go to New York. <laughs> and Paul George, I need a, too, I need right? a championship. But you know, all, bring them there all. is something to be said, is that Melo's made his money, and his legacy's pretty much intact. What Whitlock Wait. says... Uh, well, You're no, right. I mean, even Melo. Even Melo's legacy. He's going to be a Hall of Famer, Melo. But Melo's kind He's of seen as Famer. underachieving. Don't you think? That you could Clear make cut? the Not argument. Yet. Really? Not yet. You Not could yet. make <laughs> the argument that Melo believes I can tick my legacy up. If Melo well, went can. there for two years and really delivered mm -hmm. and was unselfish, it would absolutely assist his legacy. No question. I agree. For the reasons you said, I agree with you on Melo. But just as a basketball player, he's a better fit. He's, like you said, he can catch and shoot. We see him hold the ball and dominate it, but he doesn't have to do that. Right. In the Olympics, I know it's different, but you see him catch and shoot when other guys create for him. He can, in theory, at least spray, space the floor. Wade definitely cannot space the floor, and neither one of them are going to be good defenders at their age. So, And Wade, only one time in the last six years has he played 70 games or more. Right. So Melo, in every way, I think is a better fit. You made the point that they can have both of these guys. Yes. And, and my initial reaction is people in Golden State would be applauding them. Yeah. Send them two old guys. Really? Yeah, absolutely. You, you don't, don't think they want to send them two old guys? Look, because here's the thing. They don't have to both start. You can, one of them can come off the bench or both of them can come off the bench. And you, the way he does bring the intangibles. At this point in their career... I think Wade would be fine coming off the bench and, and you know, being an intangible. Oh, wait, Wade, Wade's Wade. be Mike Miller. No. no, no that, that, he, <laughs> if, if you give the second team to one of those two and you run things through them in the second team, they can still get 15, 16, 18 well, even this year, game. even this year, Dwayne Wade had a couple of nights. Dwayne oh, yeah, Wade yeah. had his moments this year when he took over games. I think your point about what Dwayne Wade would do in the postseason would be incredible. But... Again, I think when they got to the finals, if I'm Golden State and I got all these in my prime 20-somethings yeah. going up against a bunch of 30-somethings, I'm licking my chops. Now, I, I don't see... I don't think you have... It's not like you're going to have LeBron, Wade, Melo... Right. ...and all those guys... Kevin Love, Kyrie. First of all, that's not a bad five <laughs> right there. Um, but they all don't have to be on the court at the same time. 
You know, and you have to guard Wade. You you could lay off Jr. Especially when yeah. he was cold early in the series. Lay off your mind. Yeah. Now Kevin Love, if you have they Kevin, buy some if, extra hot tub. if you have Love, <laughs> LeBron, and Melo on the court together, one of those guys is gonna get loose because you have Draymond on one and Durant on one, and then the other guy can do his thing. So there, I don't. I think it was this missing be that this year. They was missing some confidence with uh, Jr. and Iman. They was kind of lost. A you never bit. know what you so, get from Jr. and Culver too. So at least Melo can bring Remember, something to the table. Remember, the Cavs table. when LeBron was on the court went toe to toe with Golden State. It was yep. the inability right. of the bench plus minus. D Wade and Melo would make you one of the best benches in the league. 